Welcome to Soccer Gaming and welcome to this channel where we're going to help you get better and learn at MLB The Show 22. And in this episode, we're going to go over the Royals City Connect. We're going to go over what you're going to get, how you're going to get it, and all of that good stuff. If you know me, you know my favorite team is the Royals, so this is going to be fun. So let's jump into it. So we're going to start off with where to find it first. You're going to start off in the home screen. Go over to programs. You're going to go over to the other programs right where you found the Houston Astro City Connect and the Nike City. We are going to get the Kansas City Royals Nike City Connect. You're going to click on that and this is what we're going to get along the way. You're going to get a couple packs. You're going to get a headliners pack. Get another five pack there. You're going to get... The jersey and hat combo you're going to get a beautiful bat and then you're also going to get the icon of the uh, KC connect and then while you're going through this you're also going to get Brett Seberhagen at an 89 overall you can take a little look at that card see what it has to offer because you're gonna have to use this card in order to get to the very end to get the most points so uh, you will be using this card because you kind of have to to get to the end and I will show you that here in a second and uh, it's going to cost us 50 points, 50 stars to get there. And this is how we're going to get there. We're going to do moments. We're going to do the Royals missions. And you can do exchanges. Usually, if you want to do it fast, I would say do the moments, do the exchanges, and then do all the missions that you can to get it done. However, me, I'm a little tightwad. I don't want to pay the money to try to get the exchanges. So I'm going to do the moments and the missions and all of those together together will get you to that 50 point mark. And to kind of break that down for you, I would start with the moments first. So go through here, do all the moments. You can get 25 points with the moments, meaning you're five points away from grabbing uh, Brett Seberhagen. And that's why I'm saying. Like, if you want to save time, go to the exchanges, then get Brett Seberhagen, and then come in here and do his uh, parallel. However, just put a couple of Royals on your roster, play a couple games, and you're going to get uh, this and this, which if you get 500 XP, which basically you could do all in one game. If you get the 500 XP, parallel XP, with any Royals players in any ranked Battle Royale events, play versus CPU, mini seasons, conquest, any of that, any Royals players that get you the parallel XP, you can then take that, and that's going to give you the 5 XP that you need to get up to the 30 with the Brett Severhagen, and then throw him in your roster, throw him in there, and get the 500 parallel XP with him. If you do that and keep the other Royals on your teams, you're going to knock these out, and probably it takes you, it'll takes take you longer to get the Severhagen to the 500 parallel XP than it will getting you to um, 1,500 parallel XP with the Royals. So my suggestion is do the moments, knock them out, you get 25 points, then you're going to do 500 parallel XP. My suggestion is is do a three-inning game. Do a conquest, one of the maps, uh, one of the short maps or whatever map you're working on. Do a conquest game. Fill your team with Royals. You'll be able to get the 500 parallel XP. If not in one game, for sure two. And then you're going to lock those, which gives you the five points to get Saberhagen. You're going to throw him into your lineup, and then you're going to play with him. You could do the conquest again or however you want to play it. Uh, do the conquest, and then you're going to get these. And just, I would say, probably five or six games later, you're going to be able to knock this out. So within about ten games, you're going to be able to knock all of these out and knock out the moments, and that will get you all the way up to 50 XP and unlock you everything along the way. If you have any questions about this, comment them down below. I'd love to be able to answer them for you. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, I don't have obviously don't have all the answers, but I went over in detail what you should do. If you have any questions about it, comment them down below. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit the red subscribe button because we're going to be doing a ton more MLB content. Again, my commitment to you this year is to help you guys learn and get better at MLB The Show 22. That's why we're creating all these episodes. So if you're kind of new or if you'd like to know the ins and outs of MLB The Show, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss an episode. Till next time, Slacker out.